No pregame speech necessary in Boston Friday as the Bulls and Celtics meet for the first time since arguably the most exciting playoff series of all time last year. Glenn Davis had a hand in that. He got some good news today. Team announced that he won't be suspended. KG and company are happy about that. They were happy about that play as well. Paul Pierce with the jam. On the other end, Derrick Rose driving to the cup. Ten points in the game for him. Rajon Rondo getting a lot of folks involved in this game. Kevin Garnett, not a uh, bad option. He gets it to go. Rasheed Wallace, top of the key for three. It's good. And the white monkey in the stands likes it a lot. Hmm. Eight-point game. Ray Allen, pull-up jumper. It's going to go. He had 12 points in the first half. Boston out by 10. Later, it's 11-point game. Eddie House coming off the bench. He is not afraid to shoot it. You know that. He knocks it down. Bulls respond. John Salmon. He's going to pull up and knock it down. Bulls won't go away, but the Celtics, boy, they are strong. It's Ray Ray. Soft touch. It's going to go. Celtics in control heading into the second half, and they would keep it coming, especially Paul Pierce. He went insane in the third quarter, knocks it down from long range. And it's Ray Allen off the pick. He's done it his whole career. You cannot stop me, is what he says. 20 points. Passes John Stockton on the all-time scoring list. Meanwhile, did I mention that Paul Pierce had himself a quarter? Yeah, 20 of his 22 came in the third alone. His team almost out by 30, and this one was a <laughs> it was a laughter. Kevin Garnett up top on the alley oop. How about Rajon Rondo? 16 assists, 16 points for Kevin Garnett, and it's Eddie House taking it to the house. Three up and three down. 22 off the bench and the C's roll. They're 2-0. 118-90 your final.